Hi, I'm Marlene Lewis, and I'm from endyslexia.com, and this is Sandy Collins. We're both speech and language pathologists. And I'm going to talk a little bit about why it matters to end dyslexia. Dyslexia, well, first of all, I'm going to back up. Why it matters is that we can, and it matters that we do it because dyslexia, while it's not life-threatening, it can be life-destroying. And what happens with kids who are in school, in an environment where they have to listen and they have to learn through listening and they have to learn through reading, and then they can't do that. It's such a struggle for them. It is not a good time for them. Learning isn't fun. School isn't fun. Reading isn't fun. They start to say things about themselves that aren't true, like I can't, I'm stupid, I'll never be able to, and none of that is true, and they actually can start to believe that about themselves. And you know what, Marlene? I have met kids as young as five and six years old who have decided through their frustration that they would prefer to be the bad kid in the class rather than the dumb kid because that's how they're starting to see themselves. Yeah. And you know that that can't go anywhere good. Yeah. And if it continues, we are going to see some bigger, uh, more complex problems down the road. Yeah, and in fact, we do. And you know, the another reaction sometimes kids will take is they'll start to hide out. They'll start, their anxiety will go up and they'll just start to withdraw. Avoidance. Avoidance. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing that sometimes, and they'll try to hide what's, you know, what's really going on for them. And they're sad and desperate, mm -hmm. um, usually. Mm -hmm. um, I find that a lot of kids are, are just trying to hide the fact that they're not able to do what the other kids are doing. And they see that the other kids are doing just fine and mm -hmm. they're not. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that happens is they are working so hard at school. They're putting in two, three times as much effort as somebody who doesn't have this kind of challenge. And it's, it's just really, it's really tiring. And you know, eventually you run the risk of they're just going to burn out. They're just gonna give up. Well, and how long can you realistically expect anybody of any age to keep on doing something that they're not being successful at. Yeah. It's it's a, a short timeline yeah. for many of us. Yeah, actually for most of us. Probably okay. for all of us. <laughs> Probably I for think all so. of us, yeah. I, I agree. Yeah, so you know, it really matters to end dyslexia and end it quickly and end it early. And it can be ended at any time, but ending it early really makes a difference in the lifetime trajectory for kids. But can be ended at any age and quickly. <laughs> I think that's a great message. Thank you. And it's true. Yeah, yeah. So if you'd like more information, you could go to my website, www.endyslexia.com.